All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2, and this is by, coming back by popular, popular demand. Everyone's always asking, where is Universe Sandbox 2? And I always just kind of have to, like, I'll play it whenever I want to play it, and it's gotten to the point where I played the game so much that I just have not had any ideas. But I'm playing it right now because I have a fantastic idea that I want to show you guys. And it's an idea that I probably should have done a long time ago but I've never done it before. I want to create a solar system of black holes. Like I want to create one black hole, one giant black hole. It's like the sun black hole, you know, the giant center of all black holes, the black hole, black hole to end all black holes. First to get my mother of all black holes that this thing is going to revolve around. Should we just start with Sagittarius A? I don't even know, like, if the graphics have changed or anything. Like, what? I'll, I'll figure out what's been new. I, I literally just booted up the game. But I think that they actually... They add... Uh, the developers added some kind of uh, simulation for that... That Planet X or Planet 9, whatever it was that got discovered a while ago. Or... Or, uh... Their scientists are getting close to discovering it. Like, they found a lot of evidence that... There's a, a ninth planet out there that's orbiting way past Pluto that's in a... It's something that affects all of the dwarf planet's uh, orbits that, that that they're able to like draw some kind of like theory together. I'll load up that simulation in a bit, but first we're going to do a gigantic black hole solar system. I'm not wordsing well right now. It's been a while since I've done anything single player related. I, I, I go long periods of time without recording anything single player, so I am getting back into the swing of things. I just completed a semester uh, of online college. I, I've, I've, I was out of college for a while, but I am now uh, doing college again, majoring in uh, software engineering. Uh, and I'm gonna hope to uh, stick through it this time. And in a couple of years, I will finally have that bachelor's uh, nailed down under my belt and I can uh, no longer, uh, I'll no longer be uh, considered a bum uh, and will be an educated YouTuber. Maybe I'll have a, a job Outside of YouTube, where YouTube is just a side thing, we'll see where uh, the future takes me. I'm rambling too much. Let's make our, let's make our uh, black hole solar system. So that's Sagittarius A. What if I made like a, actually uh, a binary, a binary black hole system? So so this is 10 million masses of the sun. Okay, so 10 million suns. What's just 1 million suns? Okay, here we go. So what on earth? Okay, let's just uh. But let's not make it go absolutely insane. Slow this down. So this is going at 1.4 minutes per second. How close is this? They're orbiting each other. What's the difference in mass? This is mass of 1 million suns. And this is, uh, I don't know what the mass of Sagittarius A is. Ma mass of Sagittarius A. So it's like roughly half the mass, a little bit, 43% of the mass. So let's get like one sun orbiting this. this. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Oh, wow. Sagittarius A is not big at all. I mean, you know, compared to, like, the, the, the sun is orbiting this thing. You would think it would be a lot bigger for the, to be the center of the galaxy, but this thing is the mass, this tiny black hole right here is the mass of a hundred suns. Okay, so this is the mass of 10,000 suns. Let's just get, like, we have a black hole that's the mass of 100 suns, and the sun, for some reason, does not want to orbit something that is 100 times its mass, even if it was right there. Let's make something that's the mass of 10,000 suns and see how much it affects the sun right about here. It's like directly all lined up with Sagittarius A. Okay, will the sun's orbit get messed up when something that is 10,000 times its mass like, that, that's what that means, right? Black hole 10k m underscore sun. I'm assuming that means the mass 10,000 m equal meaning mass of sun. Okay, sun, are you going to fly towards it or not? Or is the pull of a Sagittarius A just too powerful? And that will absolutely do nothing. That's probably what it is. But what if I put two of these things orbiting around each other? Like a binary system going here. So now we got these two things braiding around a giant black hole. So <laughs> you know, this is getting complicated. I like it. Let's slow it down even more. So we're going, can we just go real time? Time step. What's single? What's single? No, I don't want like one frame. 
Slow it down, slow it down. Okay, there we go. We're actually going slower than real time right now. This thing, I mean, how, what, what is the distance here? The distance, uh, the radius of this is 29,000 kilometers. The total velocity of these black holes. This, uh, I'm guess I'm assuming this one that I'm clicked on right now. The velocity of this is that has that's that's probably close to the speed of light. It's probably like half the speed. Actually, it's slowing down now. Now it's speeding up. Okay, and then it's just gonna whip around, and then it is, it gets to roughly uh, half the speed of light. I know the speed of light is 186,000 miles per second, and we were at, at one point. 200,000 kilometers per second and I think what there's like I think it's like 2.2 kilometers for every mile okay, let's speed it up even more I just want to see like how this orbit ends up if it just like ends up getting cast out of the system or yeah it seems like it just propels it out of the system or something it just goes vroom. no longer part of the system oh wait no what's going on have they separated I think they collided into each other or something the game broke the game was oh wait oh and something's happening again. Are they are they spinning around perpetually? Or no, they crashed into each other. What happens? Slow it down, slow it down. No. So what if we have like binary black hole massive 100 suns? Let's slow down the time step. It's at roughly 75% of a second per second. Now we have a binary system of two black holes that are pretty far apart from each other. That's the mass of 100 suns. But the size of the sun is the size of a hundred of these. It's like completely reversed together. Is this actually in fact orbiting? Are they going to go around each other? I think it is, but it's getting... What is going on with these? Are they going to crash into each other at some point? Okay, you're going to orbit around each other, right? Or are you just going to... Whoa! And then they just flung off each other or something? What happened? So now we've got chaos, which is cool because... Oh, they're gonna like affect their orbits or something. What's going on? I want to I want to test that theory again. I'm not, <laughs> I like how I'm si sounding all scientific. I'm gonna test my theory. My theory, um, since like the, I, the, there was the, those two black holes with the mass of ten thousand suns. They were orbiting each other very close to each other, and they were getting near the speed of light. What happens if I take just any object? Let's say uh, Earth. Let's take Earth. And let's have it orbit Sagittarius A at uh, the, the event horizon. Is it called the event horizon? Uh, it's, it's something like that. But let's see. The speed of this Earth, the planet. We are at the cusp of this black hole. And it is going interstellar. We're about to go inside. Earth is dying. Earth is hot. Earth is going to burn up. What is the velocity of Earth? 200 and 11 kilometers per second around Sagittarius A at the event horizon. Well, almost, maybe it gets exponential. I can notice there's, there's probably, you could probably fit one more Earth inside there. Oh my God, you can see two Earths when you're doing this. I don't even know what's the black hole and what is not. Okay, there's the black hole. All right, let's see if I can get something very, very tiny. Let's take the moon, for example. Let's take the moon. Even closer. Oh, and it just crashed into the black hole. And that is a big explosion. Holy, actually, you know, the moon's right there. So it seems like skirting the event horizon triggers some kind of alternate reality where the moon explodes. And now it's like we're playing a game of Agario but not really because none of this exists. All right, let's take a look at the moon. The moon is even closer to the event horizon. What's the velocity? 212,000 kilometers per second. Probably none of this makes sense at all, like in terms of the laws of physics, but <laughs> it definitely results in a cool effect in a video game. <laughs> we literally got like copies here, copies of the planets. We expose the Earth to the event horizon for a prolonged period of time. <laughs> Is the moon okay? It's like space has some kind of heartbeat or something. It's like, bottom, 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 bottom. 
We're about to leave our galaxy. Oh my god, it just looked like the sun exploded, but it's just the explosion from the other side of the black hole. Oh my god, look at that. That is a massive explosion, seriously. It's like, it, it's all ex Actually, I think it's just because we're at 1.4. Okay, okay, so there goes the explosion. Explosion has dissipated. How does the Earth get affected? Do we have seasons when we're going around a black hole? I mean, it looks like we have life. We got plant life. Days seem to go very, very quickly in this newfound black hole system. I'd say one day on this planet lasts roughly, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes or something. It's like a 15 minute day. Oh, and the water! The water is actually coming back. This may actually be a habitable planet with this setup. We got, oh my Jesus Christ, when you speed it up like that. When we have a sun orbiting a black hole, with a couple other black holes just in chaos and you never know when it's gonna hit the planet. And then when you have the Earth skirting the event horizon. Actually, do we still have that moon? Oh no, the Earth is seems to have an identity crisis and starts orbiting itself. And it stays at a solid 12.7 Celsius. So, I think we've created a stable system here. This works. This is the system I want to live in because I would love to live on the event horizon. If anyone has seen Interstellar, you know the whole time dilation effect. So many years are probably going by for the people on this planet. Seconds are centuries. I mean, actually, I guess the way that would work is if you get, if you're at the event horizon, I'm going to assume all of time probably passes. All of time probably passes, and the time for these Earthlings has, uh, it has expired. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed your lesson on general relativity, or special relativity. I don't know what one that is, but that was fun. I like stuff like that. Let's do this again sometime.